Good day everyone. So today we're back on site. Uh, our new location which is at uh, West Hill Moor. A few minutes drive behind the West Hill Moor heading towards Kaswa. Now our last video we showed the foundation work going on and today we're here to give you a quick recap or an update of the works. So as you notice the block work for the foundation is nearly complete and the carpenter has actually finished the form work for the pillars of the foundation uh, you notice that uh, the concrete has been cast for all the pillars of the foundation so this is just to give you a close-up look of the current progress uh, in the distance you notice that we've started filling the foundation and what's happening is that we are digging up the lower end and using the soil to do the filling over here. So we're just gonna walk around so I can explain a few things to you. Now, over at this end, you notice that the block work is straight. We used six inch blocks. So the block work is standing upright. So the blocks are upright. But if I come back to this end over here, you'd see that we laid the blocks flat on the side. So we laid the blocks flat on the side. And that is because this end here also serves as a retainer wall. So it serves as a retainer wall and it also uh, acts as a barrier to hold the soil once we fill up. So because there's gonna be a corridor at that end of the wall, so we need to be able to make sure the wall was solid. So we laid the blocks sideways to make sure it can hold up the soil and retain any sort of filling that we put inside. So, walking further. Now over here, this is the corridor. So basically what we did is that because the land has a slope going downwards to this end over here. We've managed to create a one bedroom apartment, which will be in the basement. So this is going to be a one bedroom apartment. So currently where we are looking at, this is going to serve as the balcony. Then the first room over here, that's going to be the living room. So this is the balcony balcony this will serve as a living room from the living room then we move on to this is going to be the kitchen and a washroom and then the last room over here this is going to be the bedroom so we've got the one bedroom apartment which should be separate from the entire house so the main house is uh, it's going to be a five bedroom townhouse but thankfully or luckily because the land office itself with a slope or a gradient we've managed to fit in an additional one bedroom apartment for the client so they can choose to rent that unit out or they can keep it as a guest room or guest apartment. Uh, generate some income from it separately from the main house. So I'm just going to walk in and give us, show you the layout. So once again, this is our balcony and this is the hallway. So this is our hallway. So on my immediate left, this is going to be the living room now this unit over here this space is going to be shared between the kitchen which will be at the far end there will be a washroom right over here and from the washroom this will be our bedroom with a window so we've got two windows for the bedroom a large window for the kitchen and we've got a living room here which has three windows so that you can see we're digging out the foundation to make sure that we have enough headroom 
for our rooms over there. So this is a separate unit or a separate apartment, totally separate from the entire five bedroom townhouse. All within the same building, but a separate apartment on its own. So over here, I'm trying to show you the depth of the foundation. So you notice the block work is quite high. So we're now spreading the soil. Due to the nature of the land, you realize that there's quite a lot of stones and rocks in the soil. So currently we're taking advantage of the soil on the lower end in the basement. So taking the soil from the basement and using some of it to fill up the foundation on the top end of the property. We're definitely going to buy some extra soil but we can still take advantage of the one that we have here to help reduce the cost of the amount of soil that we're going to purchase for the filling. So currently we have about one, two, three and four cubic holes to fill up and hopefully one trip of sand should be able to do the job. Currently, this is the update that we have. So hopefully, within the next week, we are hoping to fill up the foundation and then cast our concrete slab. And hopefully, we are looking to capture some of the beautiful views. So the houses are going to face this end over here, which has the sea in the distance. So I'm just going to walk out of the main gate. So once again, we're looking to achieve uh, five to six townhouses on the land. And I'm just going to walk out so you can have a look at the beautiful view in the far end what we are looking to capture so all the houses will be positioned to face this end so and especially those on this other end over here will have balconies from the bedrooms which captures the view and just here is our land so we have about five ten minutes drive from the west hill mall Thank you guys for watching our videos. Really appreciate your comments. If you have any questions, please do let us know and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Bye.